Okay, so now that we have labeled our graph, we have the title here, temperature in Oakton, Virginia, May 2020. We have labeled the x-axis with our red arrow and our red x. We've put our dates, May 5th through May 11th, and labeled it days, okay? Along our y-axis, which of course goes up and down, we have our blue arrow and we labeled it with our blue y. We have our numbers that go from 44 to 70, which represent right here what I'm highlighting, temperature in degrees. And we can also say degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So temperature in degrees Fahrenheit along the y-axis and our days along the x-axis. Now all we have to do is just like for a bar or picture graph, go back to the data chart to get our data points. Now the degrees that or the temperature that we want to record on our line graph for May 5th is 58 degrees. So let's go back to May 5th. We're going to get our line tool, or I'm sorry, our circle tool. We're going to make all of these little red dots. We'll make it a little smaller. Perfect. And we're going to put this right along 58. So let's over here find 58 and line that up with our May 5th date. Now back to our data chart. For May 6th, the temperature was 56 degrees. So we're going to make another red dot, go to May 6th, and line it up with 56 degrees. Now let's go back to our data chart. May 7th was 68 degrees. So we're going to make another red dot, go to May 7th, and line it up with the number 68, which is all the way up here. Okay. Now we have three data points, 58 degrees for May 5th, 56 degrees for May 6th, and 68 degrees for May 7th. Now back to our data chart. On May 8th, the temperature was 64 degrees. So we will put another red dot for May 8th, lining up with 64. Back to our data chart. For May 9th, the temperature was way down to 51 degrees. We're going to grab another red dot, go to May 9th, and put this right here lining up with 51. Now as you can see, my dot does not line up with 50 or 52 because I, the temperature that day was 51, so I'm going to nestle that dot right in the middle of 50 and 52. Okay, now back to our data chart. May 10th, the temperature was 66 degrees, so we need another red dot. We're going to line it up with 66. And finally, the temperature for May 11th, which was yesterday, was 60 degrees. So we're going to go to May 11th and line this up with 60. Okay, now all of these data points just look like red dots and they don't make much sense right now. We need to use our line tool to connect them. So we're now going to connect all of these dots right here and now we have our beautiful line graph right you can applause it looks so cool when it's done I do love making line graphs for this, re this reason you can see we have all of our data points in red and you can see we've connected them all in black so you can see how the temperature went up and down as the week went on. It was pretty steady here from May 5th to May 6th 
and then it just kind of went up and down throughout the days. Now we can answer some questions. We're of course going to use our star tool for that. If you can tell me which date had the lowest temperature, go ahead and think of that. And um, we're going to answer that question. So which date had the lowest temperature in the week of May 5th through May 11th? If you said the answer was May 9th, you are exactly right. The lowest recorded temperature for May 5th through May 11th was 51 degrees. So our answer is May 9th. Now we can answer which date had the highest temperature. Which date had the highest temperature? Now we see clearly the highest point on the graph is right here at 68 degrees, and that was May 7th. So the highest temperature recorded in this week was on May 7th with 68 degrees, and the lowest temperature for this week was on May 9th with 51 degrees. I hope you guys enjoyed making a line graph with me. We're gonna practice it all together. Don't forget, you have to make your data chart before you can make a graph. I hope you enjoyed um, doing this with me. See you soon.